Greetings and welcome to this tech tutorial on how to use Zoom side-by-side -side mode. So what I'm sharing with you right now is a full screen screen share. In this demonstration, I am the participant and the host is sharing this particular website with me. You say I have a small monitor or I only have one monitor. To get a different view of the screen share, I can go up to view options and I can do a couple of things there. I can adjust the ratio. I can make it bigger or smaller, especially if things have text, I might want to do that. And then I can also enter what's called side-by-side -side mode. When I go ahead and click on that, you're going to see immediately the screen changes how it looks. And the screen share is off to one side, and then I have my facilitator and other participants, including myself, on the other side. Now, I can change the way this looks. I can do just speaker. So this will filter out any other participants and just leave the speaker there. And then I can, of course, do the gallery. That's speaker plus other participants. That's the default mode. And then I can do the standard, which, again, just takes me back to the full screen of the screen share. You can also swap out the video for the screen share if you want to take a look at the people who are actually presenting, for instance. And you can swap that back. So... One of the other really cool things about this particular feature is you can adjust what's being prioritized on the screen. So I can take my slider here and I can move this screen share over if I'm trying to focus on the person topping. Or again, if I want to make this bigger, I can slide it to this direction and I can really focus on what's being shared. So that's it. And it's a really neat feature, especially for those of us who are working again on one monitor or on a small monitor, or if we don't prefer to having like those floating boxes everywhere. This is a really clean way to organize the materials and make sure you can see if there's a lot of screen sharing materials or if there's some speaking. I hope this was helpful for you and thank you very much for viewing this tech tutorial from the Online Learning Toolkit.